Hey everyone, Ken here from Fantastic Cakes and Taste of Home Cake Crate. Uh, I've always wanted to make my own bagels because I love bagels and I've just never tried to do it before. But the other day, my friend Sam posted uh, a recipe, or actually I should say she tried uh, making bagels herself at home and she was really happy with the results and I was able to get the recipe from her. And it's amazing how simple they actually are. Uh, or supposedly are so we're gonna try to do that tonight uh, so uh, stick around okay so uh, starts really simple we've got a cup and a half of, of warm water I'm gonna dump that in the mixing bowl and there's two and three quarters uh, teaspoon of active uh, dry yeast so we're gonna sprinkle that in the water and we're gonna Swirl that around just a little bit. And then we're just gonna let it sit for about five minutes so that can activate. And then in a couple seconds or a couple minutes after that sits for a bit, we'll add the other ingredients, okay? Okay, so it's been about five minutes since we put the yeast and water together. Uh, so now we're gonna add really just the rest of the ingredients. I've got four cups of uh, all-purpose flour. The recipe actually calls for bread flour, but I didn't have any bread flour on hand and I really wanted to try this. Um, so all-purpose is fine. The only difference really is that uh, with bread flour, the bagels will come out a bit chewier, which people either like or don't. So, uh, and then there's a tablespoon of packed brown sugar and a couple teaspoons of salt. So we're just gonna add that in to here. gonna put that on low for a couple minutes and let that start mixing in and you can actually see already that it's you know, it's, just, it's mixing it up it's gonna form a, a bit of a dough ball and I may grab a spatula just to help knock some of the flour down the sides So this, after a couple minutes, uh, it'll be, it'll look kind of dry, supposedly, but that's okay because we're gonna do most of the kneading by hand. Yeah, it's already getting to that point. So we're gonna let it go for another minute or so, and then uh, when we come back, we'll be kneading it. Okay, so it's been mixing for a couple minutes and this is what it looks like. So we're gonna take it out, we're gonna put it on my table here that I have flour already on because we don't want it sticking to the table, just how it's sticking to the bowl. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna knead it for about five, four or five minutes. I, I put gloves on because I really don't like it sticking to my hands. So we're just gonna work it in. Yep, we're doing bagels. bagels. Well, we're trying to do bagels. We'll see how they come out. Oh, yeah, live yep. Well, not live. We're just we're editing. This is Ellie. This is my kid. So we gotta do this. Like, like you're making well, it's kind of done the same way. And there's a big chunk. of See, there's a little piece of uh, yeast that kind of stayed clumpy. Yeah. So that we'll just toss that. <laughs> So after about four or five minutes, we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna put this in a greased bowl, cover it with plastic wrap or aluminum foil, and we're gonna let it sit at room temperature for about an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half. You get the paper for what? My kid doesn't get it when I'm recording. 
she thinks it's okay just to be yelling. But if I yell during her videos, oh my goodness. So this recipe is supposed to make uh, eight bagels. And today we're gonna do, we're gonna do some plain bagels and we're gonna do a few sesame bagels. Cause my wife likes sesame. Okay, so we'll come back when I'm done kneading in just a couple minutes. Okay, so I finished kneading it. I took a, just a metal bowl. I sprayed it with cooking spray, made sure that the, the whole ball of dough uh, was coated with cooking spray. So now we're gonna cover this and just let it sit on the counter for about an hour, hour and a half, okay? So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half and we're ready to take a look at the dough. As you can see, it is about doubled in size. Looks good. So we're gonna take this out. It's, we're gonna just dump it onto the board. And we're just gonna punch it down a bit to get all the air bubbles out. That's pretty good like that. And then I'm gonna take a knife. And we're gonna cut it into eight pieces. It don't have to be perfect. In fact, I don't even think I'll get eight out of it. Maybe I'll go a little bit smaller. Take a little bit off the others. So I ended up getting seven out of it. So we're just gonna roll these into balls. So once they're rolled, we're gonna make the hole just with our fingers. And keep in mind, this is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm just following what the directions said to do. They don't have to be perfect. Uh, but behind me, and I'll show you in a second, I got water, a pot of water that we're gonna bring to a boil because you need to boil the bagels before they go in the oven. So, basically it's gonna put a hole through the middle, like that. And once the water starts boiling, then we're gonna boil them on, uh, we're gonna cook them for about a minute on each side. I'll probably stretch these out again before I put them in the pot. And we'll just do probably two or three at a time. We wanna make sure that they're not getting crowded in the, in the pot while they're boiling. And then after they boil for a minute, I also have the oven preheating. So we're gonna end up baking them. So we got seven bagels here, ready to go. And then as you can see over here, I have my water's cooking and I'm actually gonna add some uh, honey to it. And what that does is that's just gonna add a little bit more sugar, a little more sweetness uh, to the to the bagels. And it's also the water, while it, because it's cooking, while it's boiling the the, uh, the bagels, it's gonna help, it's gonna crystallize. The sugars of the honey are gonna crystallize and help make the, the um, bagels a little bit crispier. At least that's what they say. So that should come to a boil shortly. And once it does, we will slap these bad boys in. Bring this over here. I got my ovens preheating right now. So we'll come back in a minute once it starts boiling. Okay, so the water's starting to boil. 
So we're gonna drop these in. I'm gonna put in two or three, possibly like two because I'm a, I'm a little nervous they're gonna get a little too big. But they should float, which they are. Yeah, we're just gonna put two in at a time. We're gonna give you a minute on each side. And they are expanding a little bit. Are you counting? That was just my oven coming to temperature. Because like I said, we're gonna bake them. About another 10 seconds and we'll flip them. All right. All right, so we'll give those a minute on that side now. And we're gonna, once, when these come out, we're gonna transfer them over to a sheet pan that's lined with parchment paper. another 20 seconds you can feel they're much like they're stiff you can tell they're they're already cooking and they're only going to need about 20 25 minutes in the oven okay so I'm going to transfer these over here I've got two two pans lined with parchment paper. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and then we'll come back. Okay, so they're all boiled. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> they didn't really completely keep their shape, you know, a little bit wackadoo. Um, a bit larger than I probably would have wanted, which is why I was supposed to get uh, a good eight of them out of there. I cut the pieces too big, but I, you know, first, first try, I think it'll be good. Um, so what we need to do now uh, I have egg wash here, which is just a couple eggs beaten up. And we're gonna just brush the tops of each one. And th this'll help them get nice and golden brown when they go in the oven. And we're gonna do a few of these uh, as sesame bagels for Lori. all these these three we're going to do is, is sesame so i've got sesame seeds here and i've got a little fun tip for you which maybe you know maybe you don't uh so sesame seeds generally speaking in the market are pretty expensive if you know if you go in the spice aisle all spices are, are relatively expensive however in most supermarkets at least the ones that i've been to there's an end cap that has uh this brand fiesta uh which are all like Hispanic based seasoning. So, um, you know, you get a lot of different chili peppers and, and, and things like that, but they also have garlic and onion powder and things like that all in bags instead of, of, instead of like the containers you'd normally buy in it. So if I had bought this container, if, if I had bought this in the regular spice aisle in a regular like container of sesame seeds, it would have been like four bucks or even five bucks. This packet, which is just, just as much only costs like a dollar 29. So when you go to the market, check it out. It's always at the end. It's sort of like at the end cap uh, in the Spanish aisle, Spanish foods aisle. Um, and they have a whole selection of different spices and stuff that are just much, much less expensive. So just a little tip there. So we're just gonna sprinkle these on. And I don't think there's any way that specific way we need to do it, but I wanna make sure we put enough on there for her. I'm not a huge fan of sesame bagels, but I'll eat them if there's no plain bagels or onion bagels or egg bagels. So that's about that. And so now these are gonna go in the oven at 425 uh, for about 20 minutes, 
20, 25 inches. I might do this closer to 25 because they're a bit bigger than I think they were supposed to be. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll check them as we go. Uh, so we'll come back once they're cooked. All right. Okay, so this is the finished product. They were in for 25 minutes. These are the plain bagels. Okay, and those are the sesame. And you're saying, oh my God, the sesame looks so much darker. They were on the top. <laughs> they were on the top of the oven, top rack. These were on the bottom, and uh, the rack was actually a little close together. Probably next time I might separate them a little bit. But they look really nice. Uh, gotta let them cool completely. But, um, yeah, they're hot. <laughs> so we're gonna let them cool completely, and then we'll have them for breakfast. Thanks. All right, so it's the next morning. I just toasted my bagel with some cream cheese on it. So let's see. It's really good. It's actually a lot chewier than I was expecting it to be because I only use the all-purpose flour instead of bread flour. But it's perfect. So I'm going to put the link to the recipe, which is not my recipe. It's uh, on a website, so I'll put the link in the description. You should definitely try this yourself. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks a lot. Thank you.